As we get deeper into the rainy season, the Department of Environmental Health is taking on an even more aggressive educational and community-based approach to prevent any serious outbreaks of the deadly mosquito-borne dengue fever this year. In 2011, there was an unprecedented outbreak of dengue fever in the Bahamas, with hundreds of confirmed cases, but thousands more treated for dengue-like symptoms. There was also a reported death from the virus, transmitted by the people-loving and aggressive 80s Egypti mosquito. Director of Environmental Health Services, Melanie McKenzie, says the new strategy to control its spread, codenamed the Fight the Bite campaign, is a part of a bigger overall vector control program. With a component of education and promotion, and as the other component, cleanup, and as the other promote, uh, as the other part of that comp uh, of that program, there is the the treatment, the larva siding, and the adult siding. If you do your education right, and you do your treatment right, and you do the cleanup right, you have very little adult siding to do. In other words, there will be less of a need to kill adult mosquitoes because they won't ever reach maturity. The environmental health director says that fogging is ongoing and the mosquito population is down despite the recent heavy rains. McKinsey says the department has reached out to school and community groups as a part of the education process. So that they can tell us where they know standing water is. Like sometimes people have moved away from home and there was a well. We don't know it because the property is now overgrown. But the neighborhood knows it. And so they can tell us, okay, in that property next door, there is a well, and we can search it out, we can treat it. That protects that community. Or if there is an abandoned home with a pool, and the community knows it, we will go when we will address the pool. Meantime, McKinsey once again offers these tips to help you fight against another dengue outbreak. It takes you 10 minutes on every week to just check your yard, make sure your, your containers are covered or you empty out any standing water, you fill in what needs to be filled in, or you throw away what you're not using that can accumulate water and then breed mosquitoes.